Hello and welcome everybody and thank you guys for joining me again. My name is Wilkie and I'm here with a quick overview. This is not so much a guide but an overview of the current events that are happening on Lost Ark on the Russian server because just right uh, a couple hours ago we received another very big update and uh, boy there there's a lot that's going on. So first of all we're gonna talk about the new update that is currently or the new event that is called the Adventures of uh, the Society of Seekers. I'm obviously using Google Translate so your mileage may vary or if you're able to read the relic then obviously um, this is your go-to. So first of all if you're new here you need to be logged in obviously with your account and then you have a button that says participate in red. I already, I already clicked this so I basically now participated in it. This starts from the 20th of September and this one is massive here. So first of all, if you uh, create a Tygon or a Striker class, you will receive this uh, weapon. I think it's a weapon skin, probably. So it, it says quest available. It always tells you like what do you need to do. Create a Titan class on your account. So that is pretty straightforward. Complete the storyline, the new prologue of the land of Troys. I'm not 100% certain, but like 99% certain, Troys should be the land of Yorn, if I'm not mistaken. I think Troys are like the Dwarven faction or something. I'm, I'm not 100% sure about this one. Um, very, truthfully though, this is like not a super huge reward. I mean, there's some potions, there's some shillings here, but... The kicker comes with this one, the Trisyon Pass, Phaeton, 7 days. It allows you to complete the storyline of Phaeton and all previous continents. The character will be moved to Papuanika, Papuanika on the Sure of Dawn, receives some rewards for a completed task, and a special chest with 1302 GS equipment. So, this is essentially a free boost to Papuanika. This is a free 1302 gear score boost, which is the tier 3, basically endgame if you will. Um, the only drawback is you need to complete the last will at least once in Phaeton. So the last will is a story, I think it's the story quest, I don't know exactly which quest it is, but basically that means you have to do the storyline or quests in the Phaeton or Peyton continent, which is uh, the continent after your and so that may take a little bit of a while. However, if you have a character, I'm in a lucky spot that I'm probably going to be hitting Peyton in, I don't know, 6 to 8 hours or something for my Holy Knight, so this is really, really convenient for me. But needless to say, this is a free boost. You have seven days. Once you redeem this, you have seven days to do this. But, like I said, this is a free boost. This is essentially 25 euros for free. Uh, well, quote unquote for free because you need to do the Phaeton quest. But this one's massive. Like, don't miss out on this one. If you ever planned on bringing more characters up in this game or actually getting like a boost or something in this game, this is your chance to get something not for free, but you know, without having to spend money. Final exam, this one's pretty straightforward. You need to defeat a Tygon or a Striker class in PvP to get a title. And cooking lessons, you need to create... I mean, it says to use crafting resources from to say to create 10 snack sets. So I don't know exactly if every food or only the snack sets count for it. It doesn't really matter in that regard, to be honest. Because, um... I mean... It's a haste token set. This one's really not the big... Like, the kicker is really this event. This is huge my people this is huge if you like i said if you ever planned on doing this then definitely make sure to use this one here like i said link is going to be in the description below as usual this is the first event the second one i actually made a video about parts of this event is the across express there are two across expresses and this is important for people to understand um because a lot of people got confused with this and i do agree because it's kind of kind of shit because they both call are both called across express which kind of leads to confusion because we had a cross expresses before and then we had a cross expresses last year as well so they kind of just recycled the event name it doesn't really matter in that regard just um hear me out on this one there's there's a two-part event one the first one is first of all this counts from the september the 15th so this is basically a week old already if you make a fresh character now and i will also make a video regarding that story mode this is something that my holy knight currently goes through you will be rewarded or receive a sort of like a paw that you need to take. Um, so this is the storylines of the continent. So this is uh, Arthemis, Yudia, West Lutran, East Lutran, Tortoise, stuff like that. So it basically tells you to play through the game like you normally would. And at the end goal, there is a 1302 mark, which you need to hit in order to get a Fadges reward. Like I said, there's going to be a specific video tailored towards the Acrasia Express story mode or scene mode, just to make sure that you know that this event exists. And... Um, 
there's only one per account and don't delete it. Like if you made an account and you signed them up for the Across Express Story Mode, don't delete that character. You're not going to be able to redo the event on another character. It's also set here, written here, so... Um, yeah, and obviously boosting and using stuff like that will kind of not allow you to get the rewards, so uh, keep that in mind. There's a bunch of stuff here that will help you on your progress, a lot of materials, some shillings, some potions, so that is definitely good. And uh, finally, if you manage to get to 1302, you get 3000 gold, 1 million shillings, and a shitload of stuff on top of that, so definitely worth it. This is the scene mode, or the story mode, that basically goes from level 1 or level 10 to item level 1302. Now the second one is the new missions across the express, and I, for my personal sake, like to call this Hyper Express to kind of give you a better idea. Now, it, it's the same rule here, you only have one character that is able to do it, and if you delete that character, then it's gone. The character has to be at least item level 1302, and at max level 14, I think 14, it, it can't be 1415, I, but I'm not entirely sure of that. The point of the second event is to go from 1302 to 1415. And I made a video specifically for this already, I'm just going to link the video here already. Um, you may have seen it, if you haven't seen it, I'm going to be putting the link in the description below and also like a little time card thingy, whatever, you know, in YouTube stuff here. So you can click on that where I explain how the new event goes. I used my striker for this, so be sure to check this out. There's also a massive reward there at the end. So you can see for doing this, you get a bunch of gold, you get more materials, you get citrines, you get stuff like that. And at the very end, you get 10,000 gold, 1 million shillings, and a lot of other stuffs as well. So, again, very, very, very big rewards to be obtained here. And I highly recommend, if you if you ever thought about planning or trying out the Russian server, and you ever wanted to get your characters and account on the road, then right now is definitely the time. This, these are like the three major events. And there's one last event that is the Monopoly or the Dice Roll event, which I'll quickly cover. So let's just hop into the game. And for that last event, you need to click on that little uh, Shout Horn or, or Magnifying Horn, whatever the name of that thing is. Basically that event button here, this is the Lost Ark Monopoly or Dice Game if you want. That one's pretty straightforward. I won't go too much into detail, you just roll the dice and you get more dice rolls for being like for logging in, for being logged in, for, and for doing Chaos Dungeons. So basically just for playing the game, you will be rewarded with extra, and there's somebody following me right now, um, you will be rewarded with extra rolls and those rolls, I would highly suggest click on that here to skip the animation, otherwise this is going to take a while. And you can see there is a box with... Uh, Health potions, this is Adropines and Awakening potions, then we have another roll, this is probably sea events, or marine coins, then we got peons, or, or feons, then we have a clear round, for clearing this board you will be receiving Epona certificates, and we got life skill potions, and one last roll, we got another of those boxes. Those boxes will then be delivered to your uh, get goods or your item box, so like I said, these are marine coins. These are life skill, uh, this is life skill energy, this is an opponent certificate, peons, more coins, then we have, like I said, awakening, adro pins, and stuff like that, and recovery pots, as well as shelling boxes. So this is another very good uh, event. I highly, highly recommend do this every day. Some of these rewards are pretty juicy, as you can see. There's also some, some other good stuff, like affinity items in there. So generally, just another very good item which I highly recommend to do. Shoot, I wanted to actually take those. So let's click on Get Purchases. And yeah, you can do that every day, like I said. So highly, highly recommend it. You do that every day. So you will get those extra juicy rewards. And that is all for the current event landscape on the Lost Ark Russian server. Like I said, currently, one if not the best time to check out the game. So many freebies, so many good stuffs. If you are a free, free-to-play, fresh player, there's no better time to start on the server than now. And um, yeah, this is all I wanted to give you guys in a race, so be mindful of those. And make sure to use those events to your advantage. Use them on characters, TLDR, use them on characters that you know that you're going to play. Don't delete the characters if you have selected them. And then just make sure to actually use those events because they're super good. And keep your eyes peeled. Last but not least, I do stream on Twitch as well. So if you want to see me live, then I do stream usually on Mondays and also some other days, which I will be announcing on my Twitter and also my Discord, which is another place that you can go to if you want to ask questions. 
we're just having a mindful chat with me and other Lost Ark and also other gaming folks because I also play other games as well. Last but not least, this is all for this video. I do hope this was helpful and I'll see you guys either in the next video or in the next stream. So do stay safe, take care, and I'll see you guys next time.